Well, hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to take a look, quick look at these Eve 304 amp hour cells. Um, this video started recording at the end of December, actually December 30th, 31st. However, this is all I did since after this day, everybody in my family got into a COVID situation. It started with me and then for the past month has been growing from person to person. We are all okay. Everything's fine other than being awfully tired and having fever for about 36 hours. I'm okay. My kids are. My wife, um, she had a little bit of coughing problem for about seven, eight days. But anyways, just like a flu or another cold, that's the, that's the thing that we had with the COVID about. So I didn't record any videos and post any videos because I take care of my family. But this is the project I started in and around uh, November trying to get these cells. Finally got them in December. They had the slowdowns. Um, I don't know what to say about this Dokkan technology group or whatever, the reseller of these um, reject Eve cells. They're testing good so far, but I still stand by my original opinion from previous videos that even these brand new cells that we are buying are still a reject from Eve or cattle or from anybody else. And I think we have to approach all the cells that we buy from China in that manner. Uh, if you're really trying to get the Eve cell, brand new Eve cell or, or a grade A cattle cell or whatever the ones that are not rejected you know that will cost you pretty penny to get them over here in the united states i think that's the conclusion that i came up with so please guys watch until this video until the end of this video for the uh, total capacity of these cells i wish i had more footage or or, or i put in a little bit more effort than i wanted to in this video but however um, I wanted to just update everybody as to what's going on. We're going to have more videos. We're going to get into other different things. I'm actually thinking about getting more of these cells and building another power wall together with the uh, uh, SEPLAS BMSs that I have ordered. I guess I have some great updates on them too. All right, guys. Thank you and have a good one. Keep watching the video. It's only about eight minutes long. Are balancing at the moment. I right, still top balancing. I'm on the last one 4.27 amps at 3.4528293 volts. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so now I'm charging both with the little one to charge each cell se separately and the big one just to maintain 14.4 volts. So then try to balance all these cells perfectly. Okay, so we'll test it sooner or later. It's probably as good as it's going to get. 5982 6030 5982 5946 and I still have Victron blue smart charger for 12 volt batteries so they are pretty even i'm going to keep it like this and see do the voltages drift that will tell you how good internal resistance 
of these cells really is. So I'm going to follow up later, but in the meantime, I am going to make some cables for uh, the smart shunt. So we'll go from there. So here we are testing this 304 amp hour cells that I got off of Alibaba.com from Dokkan Technologies or whatever. Whoever the reseller is, they do have a warehouse here in Texas. I've ordered this 1000 watt inverter from Renergy to test it with because it gives the best type of a load scenario so right now we are at about 40 amps pulling out of these cells which is not even 0.2 C but we'll see what they produce I hope since we are not pulling even a 0.2 C that we will have at least maybe 310 311 amp hours out of them because majority of the time even my cells over there they run way below 0.2 C and I achieve higher capacity. And of course, this is all part of testing TBD Smart Shunt. As I said, I will do a test on it. So far, it is spot on, only half a percent difference. No more than that, that I see. Unlike the uh, Victron, which is 3% for me. Accuracy wise, all right, hodgepodge of this video. And I got this cool cover for Tesla from one of the. I'm thinking that this was off a battery module. I'm thinking this is where the charger was or whatnot. The electronics up on top. I got that piece too. It's beeping mad right now. We have about a 10.9 volts. Let's see when it cuts off. That's it. 10.6 volts and it cut off. It didn't record it. I don't have enough hands. We'll stop right here. Turn it off. Test is completed.